Certainly. Let's weave together the threads of Haiti's complex narrative, drawing from the stories of Jimmy, Barbecue Charizier, the Haitian military, and the gang violence that plagues the nation. Title, Jimmy, Barbecue Charizier, from fried chicken vendor to gang leader. In the sun-scorched streets of Haiti, the name Jimmy, Barbecue Charizier reverberates like a siren call to chaos. His journey from elite police officer to feared gangster is a tale of twisted fate and violence. The rise of barbecue. Once donning a police uniform, Charizier's path took a dark turn. Dismissed from Haiti's police force in 2018 due to his involvement in slum murders and rapes, he embraced the moniker barbecue. The irony lies in his mother's occupation as a street vendor selling fried chicken, a seemingly innocuous connection to the flames of violence he now ignites. G9 Alliance and the Face of Unrest Barbecue leads the G9 Alliance, a coalition of gangs. While not the most powerful gang leader, he is the most visible. Clad in a bulletproof vest, he demands Prime Minister Ariel Henry's resignation, portraying himself as a champion of the people. Yet, his actions tell a different story. Accused of leading massacres in 2018 and orchestrating the 2021 blockade of the Varu Fuel Terminal, Barbecue's influence is both feared and contested. Viv Anson, live together. Barbecue claims to have united Port-au-Prince quarrelsome gangs under Viv Anson. Rival gang leaders neither confirm nor deny this alliance, but Haiti's fragile balance teeters on the edge. A dire warning. Barbecue's chilling warning echoes through the streets. If Prime Minister Ariel Henry returns, a civil war looms. Title, Haiti's military struggles amid gang violence. The re-established Haitian Armed Forces, FHH. In 2017, Haiti re-established its military after a 22-year hiatus. Approximately 15,000 active-duty personnel now bear the weight of restoring order. Their task? Tackling the rising tide of violent gangs that hold 80% of Port-au-Prince in their grip. Challenges faced by the military. Absence of leadership. Prime Minister Ariel Henry's absence during critical moments leaves the military without clear direction. Gang influence in territory. The sheer scale of gang-controlled areas hinders territorial reclamation. Resource constraints. The military lacks equipment, training, and manpower to combat well-armed gangs. Political instability. Haiti's political turmoil distracts the military from its core mission. Complex social factors. Gang violence is deeply tied to poverty and unemployment. International involvement. The United States and other nations provide support, but the crisis persists. A $100 million support package aims to bolster a multinational police force and a transitional presidential council. In the tumultuous landscape of Haiti, Jimmy, Barbecue, Charizier, and the Haitian military stand as complex figures. Their stories intersect, revealing the fragile balance between power, violence, and the struggle for justice in a nation yearning for stability. This is the Nairobi Fame TV, where we bring you the latest, trending, and urban news in Nairobi, Kenya, and from around the world. Subscribe and stay tuned for more.